Hello, Rick's new video. Today, we want to take a look at Zamazenta. This Pokemon is one of those that you don't really see too often in the Open Master League. This is the level 50 version, 100%. Uh, a very good Pokemon in general, and we're going to see here the close combat coming up against the Dialga. Thing is, here unlike the brother Zacian, close combat going to be stabbed, going to do way more damage now against Pokemon like Dialga in general against Steel types, as they're going to catch the move on the Mewtwo, which is not ideal for you. This footage got provided to me like already a little bit um, longer ago, like this was the first time the Must League was available. The meta didn't change so, but like if you see now, for example, the rating, the rating back in the day was even basically higher compared to what it is right now. I think people are like at 3,500, 3,700 already. So um, back in the day, like this was most likely like a month ago, it was a little bit different, but the meta is still exactly the same. So this is top tier gameplay here and I can't wait to take a look at Zama a little bit more. I actually have a hundo myself but I didn't get enough XL candy because I got the hundo on my final raid that I did like literally it was just going out of there it was already not available in my C uh, like region anymore I just got a remote raid invite from the US and of course my final one was a hundred percent haven't really got any luck with uh, legendaries recently in terms of shiny or like 100% versions of them even though I did like a ton of raids so hopefully it bounces back for the horn tour which is coming back here but also this team is really really cool I see the Mewtwo going for one side strike here. This should be a win as well. Yeah, side strike coming through, going to knock out the Zekrom. The thing is, what I really like here, um, while I most likely rather like the Zamazenta the say so up here, just about the building for the team, I always like when your say so, which is in this case the Mewtwo, has the same typing on the coverage move than the uh, lead that you have. For example, here, you're going to have a fighting type lead, which has also access to close combat, of course, which is going to do some nice damage. Or Aeroblast, actually still going to do so much damage, Aeroblast is so busted. Um, but you're going to have a Focus Blast now on the Mewtwo, which is going to do a ton of damage against also those Steel types. So like you're going to have coverage for fighting on the lead and the Seisaw, which really allows you to uh, hopefully shine with that. As we see here that you're going to let the move go through. You don't really need Switch Advantage, not gonna lie. You just want to get Shield Advantage here and maybe knock them out. Let's see, we're going to see that they're going to let this move go through. That's ideal for you. This Pokemon is horrible to deal with though. You're going to have face off against the Giratina now. Crunch has the chance to debuff. Hopefully this happens soon here. But they're actually going to shield the first one and they're going to get the debuff now. Uh, good try, like good counting there. You try to make it perfectly fine in terms of the um, turns that you take to throw. So it's all good so far. We will see that you can go for another charge move here. Crunch going to get shield again and gonna get their next defense drop. Going to go for another one. This is double dropped defense. Crunch going to come through and going to do a ton of damage. And you're gonna get another one. I will let this move go through actually, but you're going to shield this. It's also fine. I guess you can go for a close combat now as well. Um, I would have let this move go through because I would have been able to go for the Focus Blast then. Going for the Crunch here first, I guess it's fine. You don't actually one-shot Dialga. You don't one-shot the Dialga, you do around 81% damage to a Dialga. I looked it up before we watched this gameplay here right now. So going for the Crunch now was kind of necessary. Like, it was not, like, overplay there, but I think it would have been fine anyway. We've seen another Dialga in the lead. This is actually very common for my own experience right now as well. I see a ton of Dialga. Um, running around right now in the lead as we see that they're going to shield up the move. They will be able to win this, I think, in the two shield scenario. But um, we will. Be, it's going to be an interesting one. You're going to get them kind of close to range where you would be fine with just going for the close combat, knock them out immediately. But this was a very good spot by the opponent. You're going to stay in here, trying to just store up one charge move. I like this play. I don't think I would have done this play, but uh, it's it's definitely a play that you can do. This should not knock you out here like close combat. Actually, it does two-shot you, which I didn't expect here. Where it might be actually beneficial to shield this move up, and you're going to shield this move up. But um, I think you didn't have to do this if you swapped immediately. That's why I would have maybe swapped immediately. But it's still fine. You can go ahead, go for the bait here. This is risky. This is very risky. They might just let this move go through, though. Um, and they're going to shield this move up, so it's good for you as you can get to another move. But they're going to go into the Giratina. Oh, there's going to be a very close one. I don't know if you can still win this game. You will be able to get them into range for one side strike, though. That's amazing, and you can't hit this one immediately, sadly. Uh, it's going to be really, really, really close. They're going to go for the... Oh, no, they're going to go for the Shadow Ball already. I thought you would be able to outspeed them there. You have to go into your Zamazenta. You have to try to overfarm, go for one crunch now. Don't think there's crunch KOs them, right? Like, it's not step. It's It's... Actually, it does KO, and you can go for the charge move. I think that's going to knock out the opponent's Dialga. Let's take a look. 
Does it knock them out? It does knock them out. Good game there. What a way to win this one. Zama Zenta on fire here right now. Next opponent, the Giratina again in the lead. You kind of have to stay in here. You're going to have to go for the crunch now. Exactly. You definitely know how to count uh, or like time your moves here, which is really nice to see. Um, basically playing as I would want to play as well. We see the crunch coming through here now. Hopefully doing some di nice damage and maybe get the defense drop. You're gonna get the defense drop. Think so far you basically hit this every time other than once, which is wild. We see another move coming through. We're going to get the shield and getting another defense drop. This helps out way more than you might expect here. You're going to be able to shield once and going to get the final shield by the opponent as well now, which is nice. As you're gonna go for the close combat. Um... A little bit too much of a BM, but okay, never mind. I did not expect to see that one. Very cool close combat there, knocking out the opponent immediately. Um, <laughs> it's like, honestly, it's kind of wild. I'm just laughing about this right now. Um, we see here that you're going to go straight for the focus boss. They might let this move go through because usually they run like Shadow Ball and they would survive one, but they're actually going to shield this move up. This is awkward for you. As you kind of have to let this move go through, I guess, you wouldn't get to another like damaging move in time, so you have to go into your Metagross now. It's, it's an awkward one. You will be able to get to the Earthquake in time before they get to two moves, usually, because they get the one fast move extra here, because um, they have to go for their own charge move here. But they might want to catch it. Let's see. They're going to catch it exactly onto a Togekiss. But this is actually still okay. They are one off the move. What you have to do here is you have to definitely farm up to one Earthquake. I think you have to try to catch a move. Like, if you don't catch a move, this game is over. It's going to be tough. Can you catch the move here? Can you catch it now? You can. Perfect catch. They're amazing gameplay so far. This is, should be enough now to knock them out with the fast move. Go for the Earthquake immediately because you should be able to get there in time. Exactly. They were not at a charge move yet. This is going to knock them out. And what a play there by this player. Amazing one. That was, uh, like, catch from the opponent was amazing, but also your catch there helped you out a ton. We see the um, bark off there, <laughs> basically, with the Zacian against the um, Zamazenta. Zacian actually has access to Quick Attack, and Zamazenta also would have access to Quick Attack. I think for Zamazenta, though, the extra energy helps you out a little bit more than the extra damage from the fast move, so... I feel that's fine. You're going to actually go ahead and go now for the Focus Blast. Actually, you're going to be able to knock them out of this lance, right? And see, you are going to be able to realign. This is amazing for you. This is so, so good. Because the opponent didn't expect you to have Focus Blast. This is a wild. You can go ahead and go for the side Strike now. This will do some nice damage as well. Actually gonna get the shield, which is even better. The opponent is forced to throw. Is this a play rough here coming through? Let's see. It's going to be a wild charge. Even better for you. Allowing you to farm up extra here with the Metagross. You can take one move. You should take one move here. Don't shield the first one. It's going to be close combat. And we see the opponent's Metagross coming in you can just go straight for the earthquake to be fair they're gonna go for the media mesh i think you you have to sh oh that's going to be a really tough one um i don't actually know how you want to win this it's it's going to be a really really awkward one to win this because if they are oh, they going to let this move go through never mind okay no you should be fine here hopefully um you're going to catch the move which is even better kind of necessary i think can also backfire a little bit but i guess you should be able to reach the crunch maybe in time but i think the opponent is Actually, you're gonna go for the... It doesn't matter which move you're gonna go for, to be fair. Crunch would have been fine as well, though. You're going to knock them out. Okay, that's a wild. I don't know why they didn't shield this move. I guess this does more damage anyway, so I guess it was fine. But there's still had a chance to win this, I think. I don't know. Next game, we will see a Lugia. It's going to be a Lugia that I'm also going to have, hopefully pretty soon, which is going to be the version that is... Purified here is, is the Apex Lugia, which looks really amazing, honestly. I wish there would be like more Pokemon like this. Like, I don't know why they didn't do this, at least right now we didn't know about it, at least um, for the Hoenn tour there. We do wish that they would continue stuff like this. I don't know, maybe it's, it's still coming, like right now, it's at, at least not announced. So I don't know if they're going to get another Lugia slash, oh god, they're going to get the booster, it's kind of annoying. Like Lugia slash ho -Oh version where you have like these special shadows would be amazing. I love those Pokemon, it's just cool to look at them. They are not different than the others, but they just look better than the others. And that's basically the main thing there anyway for me. We will see the crunch coming through, you're going to get the knockout on the Lugia and we see the Giratina coming in. It's kinda not the Pokemon that the opponent would, would have wanted to put in here because Giratina is going to, of course, suffer from the crunches. Crunch going to be able to win this in the two shield scenario, most likely. Like, if you invest two shields, I would guess. Unless the opponent gets another boost, which they don't seem to get, as they can go for one crunch now. This does not knock them out yet, I think. But they're still going to shield, which is amazing. You're gonna go straight for another crunch, not risking anything, trying to get the knockout here. It does actually knock them out already. And we see the Alga in the back, and finally, finally, we're going to see it. 
Ah, that's going to be amazing. We're going to see the shield of God coming up, and now we're going to witness the complete destruction of a Dialga. This focus blast going, going completely destroy that thing, like instantly. I actually wonder how much damage it's going to do. Like I know, I I, I know my people here. Someone is going to look it up for me right now. So thanks for the person that posted in the comment section. I bet someone's going to do that. I wonder actually how much of a focus blast is going to do from a from a mute. I want to say Lugia against a. Uh, yeah, against the Dialga, we will see a, a Pokemon that's a little bit interesting here. Yeah, they're going to have the move Superpower and Stone Edge. Stone Edge would be resisted. Superpower would be able to um, debuff the opponent. So, like, it's an interesting matchup here for the Landorus. You're going to get the defense drop, which is nice. They have a ton of energy now. I guess you should let this move go through here. I would do it at least. Okay, they're going to go for the Superpower and you're going to shield it. Can you still take another Superpower? Is the question after they debuff themselves here. You can, never mind. Okay, good play there. Good play. I didn't know about that one. They're going to swap into the Evalta, which is very tricky for your entire team. You might want to try to stay in, go for a close combat exactly here. Um, as this is going to get them low enough that you might be able to farm them down. Oh, they're actually going to shield up. That's fine for you. I think you're going to be able to reach the Focus Blast in time. They are just barely at the Dark Pulse. They need four more fast moves, which is 12 turns, which is six fast moves of yourself to get to the next one. And you're going to perfectly align that one. Because you got the crunch damage on there, this Focus Blast should one-shot them, and it does one-shot them. It's more like a Mewtwo showcase so far here, but um, we will see that you're going to get up against the Diaga. They have to throw early. Or do you reach it? You actually do reach it. Oh my god, like honestly, the Mewtwo is going to completely destroy the opponent here. Bye-bye there. And we see the Landorus coming in here as well. Which I guess can go for a super power here, I guess. Does it even knock them out? Let's go for Stone Edge. Okay, sad. So no entire Mewtwo 3, but the Focus Blast is just completely destroying the opponent here. Wild one. Next one, we're going to see the um, Gyarados in the lead. That's kind of wild. Gyarados in this meta is not as common. Um, also played it myself, which is a spoiler alert for a new video coming up. I don't know when actually, like before, of course, the seasons, uh, the seasons swaps, I wanted to say, but the league swap. Because actually, I think we have Mega Mask League for the entire time for the next week. So we actually have complete different um, leagues next time around. Even though one is Master League and the other one is the Hohen Cup. Going to be an interesting one here. You're going to swap into the Mewtwo, which is a wild as they have Crunch, of course. And Crunch would do some nice damage. They're going to go for the Awkward Tail, though, to bait you. Which results in them having to shield or getting hit by a side strike. They're actually going to shield this move up as well. That's uh, super wild here as well. As so you're going to be able to shield up the crunch coming in now. There should be energy dry, so you should have a great time here. But you're going to get the drop. Can you go for the first blast? Okay, I guess it's safer to go for the side strike here. Uh, yeah, it's definitely the play to go here. We're going to see that that's going to do a ton of damage. And they're going to throw here before you. I think you would have got to the focus blast though. I think they wouldn't have really expected that either. So maybe it would have been a fun play. Which is not a fun play, is trying to use your uh, Metagross to farm down a Palkia, especially as they can have Fire Blast. Did you just catch your Fire Blast here? Please do. That's a Draco, but still a very nice catch again. Like, you're catching, like, catching is on point for you right now. Let's see what we're going to see coming in now. It's going to be the Gyarados again. You can knock them out with one Media Mesh, throwing here perfectly. Actually going to try to undercharge their Energy Dry. That's definitely a play to do here, as they're going to swap out into their own Metagross. I think you're actually going to lose this matchup still, though. Um, the thing is here, one Earthquake does not knock them out, but maybe you can farm down. He can farm him down. This was so close, and the opponent going to forfeit there. I knew that one Earthquake doesn't knock out another uh, Metagross from full health, though. so I was like, hmm, might be a little bit tricky, but I guess that's fine. We see here now the player going for the Focus Blast immediately, allowing the opponent to go get one extra fast move through, but I guess the CMP tie would have worked out better there. Not actually hitting every bubble is a little bit weird, but I don't know what you actually want to do here, really. You're going to shield this move up, which is weird as well, as they're going to get to the next move in time. Shielding here is needed, because now you're at least going to be able to get your ball shields back if they want to realign. And, um, yeah, you throw here at a pretty decent timing. Maybe not the ideal one, but actually they're going to let this move go through. Oh, it's going to be a tough one. Are They they know about the focus blast, though, but do they going to, like, if they let this move go through, that would be super wild. Oh my god. Uh, honestly, I didn't expect this one. Like, they have two shields. Two shields to just go ahead and do that. Uh, I would have swapped out here if I was you. Um, because they have to go for... I mean, they have to go for close combat here. Maybe swap out now. 
I don't know. Yeah, you can just swap out now. Perfectly catching. Amazing there. But that, oh, that was wild. You can go for Crunchy, I guess, which is your best bet, I guess. But it's still going to be an awkward one. You're going to go for the Crunch immediately. Their defense cannot drop anymore. Their defense is already at a rock bottom there. As you can still go for... It's still going to be a losing match, I think. I don't think there's a way you can win this one here. You can go for the Crunch. You're going to get the Shield there. Let's see. Can you still win this one? You're going to go for the Close Combat here for sure, knocking you out. But now it depends if you can survive one more Close Combat. If you survive this, you win. If you're not surviving this, like you're going to lose. Let's see. Are you winning this game? You are winning this game. And this is going to be it for the video. Honestly, wild stuff here. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope I see you next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.